Hi, I'm Susan. Welcome to my home and studio at Wendy Acre Cottage. It's a hundred year old craftsman cottage where I love to paint and garden and entertain and care for all my wonderful fur babies, both those that are adopted and all the little fosters. It's also my home base for many fun adventures of the art, history, and gardening kind. Hi, this is Susan. Welcome back to the studio. Today we are going over our five step process and the reasons why we have these five steps. Number one is the underpainting. And a white canvas can be very daunting, so that underpainting helps you conquer that white canvas and get started. It covers the white spots that can appear, it neutralizes the colors that are painted on top, and it promotes color harmony. This is the first step in the process. Step number two in the process is to block in those basic shapes. Now you may have noticed that I'm using a canvas that I'm painting over. So once I block in those basic shapes, I also wipe out the lights and darken the darks. And where I wiped out the lights on this particular painting, the, um, the other painting that was underneath started showing through, which I think looks kind of cool, don't you? Step number three is to scrub in the basic color. And I typically start with the background and come forward, but that's not always the case. And whenever I mix a color, I want to put that wherever on the canvas it would show up. And even if it doesn't show up, like in the case of the green, I might want to tuck that color in somewhere else just to add to color harmony for my painting. And you don't have to do any objects. We're just doing color till we get that canvas covered for the second time. Step number four is my favorite step in the whole process and I call it the magic stage. You might also know it as the detail stage. This is where we pull out all the tools in our artist toolkit to take it from a pretty picture to a masterpiece. That might include reshaping the shapes, adding highlights, adding accents, darkening our darks, lightening our lights, softening an edge, sharpening an edge, adding more chroma, making certain parts more neutral, anything to make it a beautiful painting. And finally, step number five is simply signing your name. It's not as easy as it sounds, but with a little practice, it'll look beautiful. Painting the cow was a special request by one of my students in the Creative Spirits painting class in Spring Hill, sponsored by Spring Hill Parks and Rec. We meet on Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock. I'd love for you to join us. Just give me a call for more details, and I look forward to painting with you. Now let's take a look at some of the work of my students. So today, um, by special request, we're painting cows or bulls. And we're all laughing because some of our cows look more like dogs or bears. But it doesn't matter. They're still works in progress. But they're just so lovely. I love how they turned out, even those that still need to have their harnesses added or final touches, but great work artists. 